What's up YouTube? This is Sean. Today I'm going to show you guys how to play Licky Lee's new track Love Me Like I'm Not a Stone on guitar. Nice acoustic song. Really sad. But not all songs need to be happy and it's great songwriting. So I want to show you guys how to play this one. The chords we're going to need today are A, D, E, G, and then we need F sharp minor, B minor, and C sharp minor. So we got some bar chords in this one. We kind of need to know how to play bar chords to do this song. So the tabs are going to be up here during the video. If you click that link, it's going to bring you to the end of the video where I'm zoomed in showing you how to make each one of these chord shapes. So maybe you're missing these bar chords, you can't quite make them yet. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, the strum pattern is over here, and all the chord progressions are going to be in the description. While you're in the description, click my Facebook and Twitter links, hit that subscribe button. If you learned something today, and you want to learn some more awesome tunes in the future. Okay, we're going to start off on the intro. The intro is just A for four measures. We're going to count this one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four and So four measures of just A. Then we're on to the first verse. Here's how the first verse goes. Four more measures of A. Okay, now we got some new stuff. B minor for one measure, F sharp minor for one measure, back to A for two more measures. That's going to make an eight measure group. Now we're on to the second half of the verse. Four more measures of A. Now, something different. B minor for one measure. Slide it up to C sharp minor for one measure. F sharp minor for one. And then A for one. So that makes another eight measure group. And that's the second half of the verse. Okay. Let me do the whole thing one more time for you, both sections of the verse, the first and the second part. Here we go. One, two, three, four. A. And then we have B minor, F sharp minor. A again. The second half starts here. Two, three, four. Still hanging on A. Two, three, four. I'm going to switch to B minor. And then C sharp minor. And then F sharp minor. And then A again. That's going to lead us into our chorus. Okay, on to the chorus now. The chorus goes like this. Now we're not playing things one measure at a time. We're playing chords for two beats at a time, so half a measure each. So D, E, C sharp minor, F sharp minor. D, E, F sharp minor. A. Okay, and that's a four measure group that we play twice around. I'll play it again. So it's D, E, C 
sharp minor, F sharp minor, D, E, F sharp minor, A. Okay, now you play it around again, D, E, C sharp minor, F sharp minor, D, E, F sharp minor, A. Once you go around that four measure group twice, then you're going to do this tag ending D, E, A. And then you start the second verse right there. So it's going to be D, E, and then A for two measures that leads us into the second verse, which already begins on A. So we just keep holding out that chord. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see the chorus again. I'll explain it in a second. Okay, we're on to the second verse now. Now earlier I mentioned the first verse had two sections. For the second verse, we're only gonna play that second section. It's like a half verse. We're playing the second half. So it goes like this to remind you guys. A. Four measures, lots of A in this song, and then we go B minor, C sharp minor, F sharp minor, A. On to our chorus again. So this is going to be D, E, C sharp minor, F sharp minor, D, E, F sharp minor. A, D, E, C sharp minor, F sharp minor, D, E, F sharp minor, A. Here's the tag, D, E, A. Okay, now we're on to the bridge. When you finish the tag at the end of the chorus the second time, you don't play A for two measures, you play A for one measure. And then we hit G. Okay? So here is the bridge. We're playing G for one measure, B minor for one measure, A for one, and then F sharp minor for one. Okay? Now we're on to G again. G, B minor. Instead of F sharp minor, we're going to hit E. So it's eight measures. It's a real middle eight. So again, those chords are G, B minor, A, F sharp minor, and then G, B minor, A, E. So after the bridge, we're going to hit another chorus. The chorus is going to be the same as before, but this time, after you play it the second time, you're going to take those last four chords, which are D, E, F sharp, and A, and you're going to repeat that two extra times before the tag. So check the description for all of this if you're missing something and you don't really get what I'm saying, it's all in the description. So again, we're playing the last two measures, which is the last four chords of the chorus line before the tag, three times in total, two, so two extra times. And that allows us to kind of ease in to the end of the song, which goes, doesn't even resolve to A. So let me play that third chorus for you so you can hear how that goes. One, two, three, four. D, E, C sharp minor, F sharp minor. D, E, F sharp minor. So this is the first time, now repeat. D, E, C sharp minor, F sharp minor. D, E, F sharp minor, A. Now take that and repeat it. D, sharp minor, A. Do it one more time. D, E, 
F sharp minor A tag ending. And that's how the song ends. Okay? So we got our verse section, our chorus section, our bridge section. Very straightforward song. Lots of good chords though. So the strum pattern, if you saw, I'm just doing this the whole time. One and two and three and four and... I actually think on the recording, you accent two and four. Just means you play it louder. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And. So just eighth notes, all down strums, nothing else. Accent beats two and four, and you'll be good. So now I'm gonna zoom in and show you how to make each one of these chords. Okay, so let's start off on the open chord shapes. A goes like this, first finger behind the second fret of the G string, second finger behind the second fret of the D string, third finger behind the second fret of the B string. Strum the A through high E strings. Should make that sound. Of course, there's lots of ways of playing A, but this I think is the best. You can get your fingers right up next to the frets as much as you can for this way but you can also bar it or just do a one two three thing that's a d goes like this first finger on the second fret of the g string second finger on the second fret of the high e string third finger on the third fret of the B string. Again, strum the A through high E strings. That makes a D chord. Make sure you can hear this note. E major goes like this. First finger on the first fret of the G string. Second finger on the second fret of the A string. Third finger on the second fret of the D string. Strum all six for this one. G is made like this. First finger, second fret A string, second finger, third fret low E string, third and fourth fingers on the third fret of the B and high E strings. Also play all six, all six strings for a G chord. Okay, now on to the bar chords. F sharp minor is an E string minor bar chord shape. Take your first finger, bar it across fret two on all six strings. Take your second finger, use it to help out the first. Third and fourth finger go on the fourth fret of the A and D strings. Play all six strings. F sharp minor. B minor is like this. First finger bars across the second fret. From the A through high E strings this time, you don't need that low E. Third and fourth fingers go on the fourth fret of the D and G strings this time. Your second finger gets the third fret of the B string. Play those five strings. Should sound like that. That's a B minor. Slide it up two frets. So now it's four, six, six, five, four. That's a C sharp minor. Same shape. This is an A string minor bar chord shape. So you can move it wherever you want. Same thing goes for our F sharp minor. If you know this, you also know G minor 
And then you also know G sharp minor, and A minor, and F minor. It's great. Okay, so if you got any questions about this tune, about these chords, about the strum pattern, anything, send me a message, send me a comment, let me know what you're thinking, and I'll see if I can help you out. If you got any requests for new songs, please let me know. And please subscribe if you want lots of video lessons every week. You have your pick. I mean, you can choose from seven different lessons every week. Or maybe you want to learn more than that. So I appreciate all the support you guys give me. Thanks for watching. I'm Sean, and I'll see you guys next time.